I got Maokai. I have flash, I have flash. I got though. that, I got Maokai. Good nice. job, that's Oracle, that's Triple Oracle. Triple J, we got Oracle. Triple J, we got Oracle. Three for two. So Frog and saying there, you know, back out, but I got Maokai. They knew they'd managed to finish him off, but well, he, the call straight away was back out when he went in. You could hear some miscommunication there. Oh, W trying to get initiation. They're going to get Froggen. They're going to go for Froggen. The Oriana ultimate missing there. And MZZF also. Froggen is going to go down. Has he got enough to turn and follow it off? Obviously, his ultimate is not available. Big, long global cooldown on that now. And that is going to be a problem. And that is 7 4. Oh, wow, they're going for a Baron right now. They are going for a Baron. They've already started the Baron. Chow May already in there tanking it up. He could definitely take a lot of damage on this one. How is COG going to react to this one? There's the ultimate coming across far too early. They've got not a lot of vision, if any at all, of the Baron pit. So they realize they, they have to back out of this one out. They are going to back out, and there is Snoopy's going to come around. They're going to try and pick up an advantage. Wicked is just below. Yeah, they're going to back straight off from this one. They did manage to force him off that Baron, though. That was a very interesting choice by W. They might have they been trying to sneak a Baron, and that's going to allow COG EU to push mid. Everyone got very low off that Baron. They had to fall back because they knew if they stayed, Wicked was going to ult in and basically clean them up. Will they be able to get mid in time? Yes, COG is backing the out. Dragon's up in 30 seconds. They're going to back off. And is the, oh, they're not going to go for it. Looks well, like WE will be able to take that dragon if COG does back out. And just going back to that replay we had, there was the miscommunication by COG. Snoopy really wanted to kill the tower. The idea, I think, was to finish the tower and then initiate with the Yelona Malphite. But it was a hair too early. They needed a hit or two more on the tower before that initiation happened. And so much of that damage came down onto them, making the 3 for 2 turnaround and making them push back. That could have been a lot better for CLG. And now it's actually WE continuing to sweep around Baron because they really want to be able to get that objective and then push it home. CZNF needs to be careful when he's sweeping around Baron Pit. The yeah, ultimate obviously will pull aggro. As it is, Dragon has spawned and we are going to see a potential first Dragon fight, the real Dragon fight. Full on 5v5 without any towers distance, goes down on Snoopy, dropping his health really to a level he didn't want to go down to. Hasn't got too many stacks at the moment on his feast either, so you can see he's not full size. Wall of Pain's gone down just above the top of the screen. It is Chow Mei they've caught. They're going to try and shred as much hit points off they can. Taking him down to half health. That's going to help them out when we come into a team fight. Of course, Arth will get stronger with the lower hit points. So it's like a hit or miss. Pink Ward being put down to clear out the ward damage. They want to get this dragon. This is very much a forceful dragon fight from CLGU. They must feel that they can take this one. Pull the dragon out and fight off WE. And they're down in gold but still forcing engagements. Here they come. They're going again for Wii. Oh, Crepo using his ultimate there on Wii Zhao, but they backed out. They will be able to pick up the dragon off the back of this one. Can they turn anything? Will WE try and catch them on the way out? FCZF definitely causing himself a problem in that. And they are going to have to back off this one. The gold difference now, just 4,000 gold between the teams. That's not a great deal as it is. But, well, if WE can turn this into a push, CLG completely out of position. They've been forced to follow down that bottom lane. But WE looking like they might try and close them off here. We've got Ariana just across the side. We'll have that ultimate really just blocking them off. They're not forcing them back here. They're going to go for an engage. They're going to go straight in there. It's Wicked actually is caught in the middle of it. Hasn't managed to pop his ultimate. Now he gets the ultimate. Yes, the ultimate gets across. Clear up, taking down very low. Rocket's going to try and get in. He could potentially pick up multi kills here. He's got Requiem available. He's going to pop Requiem, surely. He will take down Clear up. He will not get Wee Zhao, though. Wee Zhao's got to be careful. He doesn't get engaged on the back of that one. But Ariana is causing all sorts of problems. Messiah in there. Yellow P taken incredibly low. But they they really want to take this two down. Snoopy's going to have his work cut out, stopping these three members, taking the first inhibitor to it. And WE, off the back of a dragon, turn that into an inhibitor kill. Very, very nice. And WE is coming out of these fights ahead and then pushing afterwards. They're fighting in the right spots and getting CLG low enough to counteract these things. It's strange because CLG is actually out poking World Elite in a lot of these situations, which is why WE has given them the objectives like that tower and like the dragon. But then afterwards, CLG is fighting them, which is where they're losing because the gold advantage is in the favor of WE, and the Orianna is so potent in these team fights. He's really outdoing Froggen in a lot of ways, always up near the end of the fights, always challenging those ultimates. And even now, CLG trying to push in, they just can't seem to get at Messiah. They can't get hold of him. He's definitely slippery. Oh yeah, 1-1-5, one, one, building the exact same we've seen all the Asian teams build so far. Going for that Athens and Holy Grail straight away, then the Death Camp with the Sorcerer's Shoot. And obviously yesterday we saw Azubu Frost, we saw him have Merc Treads early on, sell out the Merc Treads and switch to Sorcerer's Shoot. That was initially to stop Froggen from putting the wall in with gank yep. follow-ups, but Messiah didn't even do that strategy yet. Still only died with that very first blood, so 
he's done a fantastic job playing against Frog in this entire game because you see we're at the 27 minute mark and Frog is only at 218 minions so a substantial drop off from the last time he's done the mid lane Karthus Messiah definitely slowing down Frog and, and that's been very key for WE. Let's not forget, we have seen COG EU come back from a huge deficit. 27,000 gold against Moscow 5. However, they had the inhibitors up then. They had Anivia. They could stall out the play as long as possible. That ultimate catching across most of WE, but really not doing a great deal of damage currently. He has only got that Trinity Force on there at the moment. He has picked up the pick. Wants to probably go for Last Whisper possibly off the back of that one. COG EU really aware of the fact that WE trying to set up with his Baron. They're going to try and steal out the blue buff. The position in clear level again, dodging those rupture, and they are going to turn this instead and push the top tower. And that ultimate by Ezreal was actually because they had no vision on the Baron. They were worried that they were going to push it down, and really WE dictating heavily to CLG right now. They need to clear out a few more wards, then they can really start forcing the Baron because CLG will have to go in and check it. The wards, look at all the wards that WE has in this area. This is what we saw from TPA when they played Blitzcrank. They put a sea of wards around the area, hoping that when CLG comes to scout, they can get a pull on a priority target overwall. There's that one ward they still need to clear out, which they're getting right now. And from here, CLG's in a big amount of trouble. They have to initiate a perfect team fight, but it's so difficult since they don't have vision and World Elite can see everything. Yeah, and it's everything for Malphite. Wicked really wants to land that perfect ultimate. He's been trying to get it, and they have just positioned themselves so well. He landed a really good ultimate in the last fight, but unfortunately, they didn't have the damage to back it up. Again, they're just catching their position. They this is the pull they grapple. need. They're going to get a grab. Oh, that would have been Crepe they tried to go for. The rupture managed to land. They have a little bit of a blind vision around the side there. Are they going to try and fight them in the jungle? I'm not sure that's the ideal position. That Orianna ultimate could be deadly in the position they're in right now. And you can see, FCZF, he's just like, yeah, go on, pull me. I, you know, I initiate on me, do whatever you want. I have this mana shield and I am tanky. And I'm just going to allow all the damage in the background. He's effectively a tank. He's not just the support, he's a tank in there. And Masai using that speed up and COG for that little bit of a merry dance. Have managed themselves to get themselves a clear lane. And honestly, WE is displaying a level of patience that really is only rivaled by CLG EU in these late game fights. Even though they have a 5,000 gold advantage and seemingly entire map control, they're not brute forcing any of these fights. They're not just trying to run in. They're waiting until they get an extremely advantageous one. They will only want to start a fight on a blitz pull or if CLG EU expends cooldowns to get into them. They're not going to grant a free team fight for CLG. They're going to make them work for it. And the longer it goes, the higher the chance that they get a pick with that blitz hook and win a team fight 4v5. Yeah, the gold difference there, you can see really where it's stacking out. And uh, Wee Zhao with a 2,000 gold advantage over Yellow Peep at the moment. That's a big difference for you two AD carries. That is a major item, and you can see he's got that Bloodthirster Phantom Dancer and Quicksilver Sash compared to just that Trinity Force for Yellow Peep. Definitely falling behind. And could we say Ezreal's stats again just collapse in? Oh, are they going to try and collapse in here? If we could just get the camera up a little bit more, we might be able to see the action. It is Frog, and he got hooked in, he got destroyed. There's the Malfoy ultimate. They do get the ultimate across the entire the Kepo. Frog and should be able to pick up one kill off the back of this one. Weezhao taking incredibly low. Yellow Pete trying to collapse onto him. Now he's got Chow Mei diving on. Clear up as well. They're collapsing on Yellow Pete. Yellow Pete's going to get dropped. He cannot pick up any kills off the back of that. He was just manhandled throughout that. Snoopy wants to finish him off. They can't get anything from it. And after a perfect Malphite ultimate there, in amongst Froggans, this, this, I cannot believe Weezhao came on top of that one. He really, they just closed down. Yellow Pete tried desperately to get onto Weezhao, but they just couldn't do the damage. He just dashed away and said, right, clear love, defend me. Such a close fight there. Pulling in Froggan could have been disastrous because he was sitting in them with the file, spamming the wall, spamming the cues, and it was just a matter of everyone on WE pulling back at just the right moment. By the end of that fight, they were all at less than one-third health. Now their life's stealing up. It's a four-man Baron. They're tanking the damage, passing it off very well. They're going to get this Baron, and that's so many team fights in a row that they've squeaked ahead of, but then taken a huge objective afterwards. Before it was Towers, now it's Baron. This is potentially a stranglehold for World Elite. So we've got a replay of that one with the player audio. Let's just see how crazy they get.
Okay, well, it's yeah, he jumped it's in and suicided. I did, I, I did, but... Well, as you can see right there, Froggen really making the calls there. He wanted to get Weez out, but they couldn't do it. They switched to Olaf, they couldn't do that. Switched to Maokai, couldn't do that. They just didn't have the damage left to really catch all that position. One thing COG does somewhat better than other teams is actually call targets in team fights, which oftentimes does very well, but with that, WE was able, when they got called as a target, they realized the focus and they would disengage and it was allowing them to just all sit around fairly low. The focus overall wasn't quite able to close things out. A lot of that just happened to be all of COG's crowd control was bursted right away. So later on in the fight, when they wanted the focus, it allowed WE to disengage those fights. And that was really close. COG, their team fighting is some of the best in the world. And even though they are behind, that fight was razor close for them coming out ahead. Now with the Baron for WE, they have to be even better and catch WE even more by surprise. Yeah, and of course that gold lead was extended. WE picking up the Dragon while we looked at that replay. You can see it's 8k gold difference now. WE definitely with a huge, huge advantage. But, you know, those super minions, they've been pushing down that mid lane. But not really being used that much. And now the inhibitors respawned. You can see that, well, CLG would have had a good chunk of farm off that. Snoopy, you can see, looks like he's got six feasts on him there. He's very much at the full level. There's five feet, so he just needs one more. So he's going to be at full strength when we come around to this next team fight. However, that Baron, let's have a quick look how long that Baron's got left on them. If we can, it looks like it's, a, yeah, it's got full two minutes on this one. So WE have a long stretch in this one. WE really wants to take this inhibitor. There's not much COG can do to stop them. They're afraid of the blitz pull. They're afraid of the zone. Fighting a team with a Baron and a huge gold advantage can be disastrous. That's the second time that inhibitor's fallen. COG really needed the turtle. When the second inhibitor goes down, it becomes exceedingly exponentially more difficult for them to hold off, especially these outer turrets. I'm guessing they're going to have to hold off this one. Otherwise, Blitzer Maokai could come around the back and really corner them into a team fight. Yeah, it's a very dangerous situation for them. And really, Wicked needs the entire team grouped up, and this would not be a group situation. Blitzcrank really has been causing problems on the FZZF since coming into this team. Definitely seems to have made things tick for them. Messiah also proved himself a problem, but really, the damage was done in the very start. Wicked lost his lane to Chow Mei. And so much of this from WE has been from the three somewhat core members. The two new members are Clearlove and FCZF, and what they've really done is just deferred and enabled the solo laners and the AD carries to take over this game. You can even just look from the minion score how much of the farm is directly deferred to those giant carries. 288 for Messiah, 288 for WX, and it's just Graves versus Ezreal, Yellow Pete versus Weezow, just farm-wise is not even close right now. So much from COG, it's just too many priority targets almost at this point, and they really, really have to pull something out of their hats here because it's a struggle to stay alive in this game. Standing room only here at LA Live. It has been a fantastic tournament throughout the last three days, and really we have some absolutely amazing games coming up for you, of course. It is going to be Taipei Assassins versus Moscow 5. That will be after this one concludes. It is a best of three, of course, here. And COG EU at the moment looking in a dangerous, dangerous situation. WE looking to take home this first game. And this is the first outing that WE have had. They have sat here for the three days, sat very patiently, practiced heavily with IG, I believe. You know, we, that's the few times I've seen them practicing. It was with IG. IG, their Chinese counterparts, and they have really prepared for this one. CLG, on the other hand, they said, look, it's, it's like cramming for a last-minute exam. You can't learn anything from last-minute practice. You just need to know it beforehand, in which case they felt comfortable coming into this game. They are looking like they may well go down in this one. How would they turn things around if they do? A lot of this from WE is about that preparation. It was stopping Wicked from getting a rally. It was stopping Frog and from getting a Nivea. COG will have to change up their team comp a little bit in the next game because if this happens and they do fall off, which could still happen differently, we know WE has what it takes to beat COG, so they do have to switch it up. So they're going to have to play something different. 36 minutes gone in this game still. A 10,000 goal difference. FZZF sat there with that ward looking to maybe get a hook, start something off. COG far too experienced to try and fall for those tricks. This is that stall that COG EU is trying to pull off right here if they can stretch it later and later they will start catching up. Right now they're back behind on gold and experience. When they're turtled like this, they're getting almost as much gold as WE, so percentage-wise, they will be catching up. And the experience, when everyone hits level 18, you'll get even. It's just a matter, that's gonna be in many, many minutes. Froggen, the only level 18 member of COG, whereas WE, 80 carry, and AP mid are both 18. Chow Mei very close behind at 17, so they're reaching their peak experience-wise. So. We've seen it before. 70 minute games in COGEU can stall out. World Elite, seen those as well. They've done their research. 
They do have the inhibitor down. That's normally the sticking point that COG turtles on. Now it's all about number two. They've lost their Baron. How are they going to close this out? How are they going to close it out? And if you watch actually the farm in those lanes, you can see that Snoopy was setting everything up, and it was Yellow Pete that was using it. And the shield there for Wee Zhao, they're just going to try and bait this one out. Wee Zhao just FZZF stood up the side there, and Yellow Pete again returns to farm everything up here. And missed the CS on that one. That's a little shame. The turret took it. But they are just baiting out. They're going to steal away the blue buff and they're just holding things down. Baron buff has now run off WE. So COG quite happy to carry on stalling this one. And Baron's coming up within the next minute. So you can see WE is just containing COG in their base. They should be going back and getting a bunch of wards. You can look at FZZF. He has seven wards in his inventory right now. He's just been back. They're going to do that sea of wards that they did last time. Try to get an initiate hook. If they win another fight like they did, the last one which gave them Baron, that'll be the end of the game because they'll just be able to push in and end from there. Very, very difficult for COG to push in here. If they allow another Baron to go, they're probably going to lose an inhibitor off of that. But they almost have to. If they try to go into the jungle, there's a very good chance they're going to die. Do they fight for that Baron? That's the question. They are starting to push out now. They realize that the Baron is going to be up in 15 seconds. Dragon is now available as well. And they are starting to follow this creep wave out this time. So COG starting to become the aggressor. If we can pan the camera up a little bit, you can see that ZZF is off on the distance. Just waiting to try and get that hook in there. There is clearly up off the side. He's just trying to get himself some sort of position. He's got that Oracle on. He's definitely been working down, taking all those wards. He's just off of the side. Crepo has got to be careful. They've not been too fussed about who they actually catch there. Crepo tried to initiate that. They, it looks like COG are ready for this fight. COG is actually trying to force a fight on their terms once again because that's kind of what they've done all game, but they seem to think that if they do it right this time, they're going to be able to end it out. Really, they need to get onto Weezow because he's been There's the, the stun. There's the stun. Crepo they might be going in. in. He just backs off from that one. It was MCZF he caught. Nobody really baits him, bro. They've got the hook on Wicked. But he has managed to flash straight out of it. That means the flash and Ultima is not available now for Wicked. But he did not want to get involved in that one. That was not the fight because they've tanked. And it's just right Chow May. They've got the Wee Zhao. That's it. They want it. MCZF is going to drop instead. They do not know. He flashed away. The Ignite's running on him. They have managed to take him around. Wee Zhao's taking down Crepo. Looking across the side. Snoopy's going to get dropped as well. Wee Zhao takes him down as well. You can see now Messiah's going to close in the car. The Ultimate's not going to pick one up. Just MCZF. But WE come out on top. Messiah with the double kill. Wee Zhao with the double kill. And Yellow beat the only man surviving. Just backing away. And the ping goes down on the Nexus for WE. WE, such great execution in that fight. You thought that they had a window when Chow Mei got zoned out by COG EU and they all converged in the mid lane. But what happened is so many members went away to follow Messiah and they could not touch him. Such good play by everyone on WE. That team communication actually outclassing COG EU this game and they're going right down for these inhibitors. They might not actually be able to take the Nexus here. They're very low. The death timers are up. Creepo's alive. They're going to try to just, I don't know how they're going to finish this yet. We shall try to turn out. Was Yellow Pete there? Yellow Pete just trying to force him away as best he can. Crepo's going to come around as well, but the inhibitor has gone down. And once those two inhibitors goes down, it becomes incredibly difficult to come back from. Crepo's going to try and set these up for Yellow Pete. Yellow Pete farming out as quick as he can, just trying to defend those turrets. But that's one Nexus turret down. They didn't get the second, so they held them off for a little bit longer, sustained the loss. But well, COG in a desperate, desperate situation as WE pick up the next Baron. That's surely the end of COG. Well, this is COG's last ditch effort. They are all very low, and they're and going to be finishing. This burn, but they'll be at low health, so if COG EU gets another team fight, if they could somehow catch WE, they might be able to get this, and they're gonna battle here. They're going for it, they're going straight in. The Oriana Ultimate destroys them! We Zhao with the collateral damage just obliterated the entire CLG. Chow Mei going very aggressive, but it doesn't matter. He's just trying to bait Frog and Wicked into a fight here. FCZF's gonna surely crap on a hook there. No! Frog and flashes across. That's an incredibly difficult flash to do as well. That's gonna be the wall of pain going across, but he's just delaying the inevitable now. The Malphite Ultimate, it's not gonna be enough. Frog is gonna get dropped. He did just about get his distance going off there, but he is gonna get dropped and Wicked now. Just a fatal. Fatal errors from CLG really have cost him in this one. He's trying to delay as much as possible. Yeah, they've realized it. Wei Zhao is going to get on towards that last final Nexus to it. And this looks like WE are going to take game one against CLG in this quarterfinals. Well, what a start to a game. And WE, you see what it means to them. They are so happy with that result and well played them. They look phenomenal. The last team in China, the number one seed, the first team to qualify here for the World Playoffs coming out extremely strong. Their first game of the tournament on day three. And that game, even though by the end of it, it looked like W had the big advantage, was really close. All of those fights, 
everyone on WWE got away with a sliver. If the slightest thing changed, COGEU could have came out on top of those early fights, and that could have potentially snowballed on the later ones. But with that fantastic play by WE, really, really strong opening. You know, we talked about him at the start of the game. That bottom lane had to get going. That bottom lane, of course, was Wee Zhao.